So welcome everyone to uh, our celebration of uh, Burian's birthday party after 25 years. So uh, let's start off with an applause. I think that's <laughs> So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Wilson. I'm the Burian City Manager. And we're here, as we said, to celebrate our 25th anniversary. On February 28, 1993, at 12.01 a.m., Burien officially became a city. And on behalf of all of our city staff, uh, we are very honored uh, to celebrate this significant milestone with you. Um, I want to start by introducing some uh, special guests that we have. Uh, tonight we will hear from our mayor, Jimmy Mata. Uh, we will also hear from uh, Burien's first mayor, Dr. Arun Jamari. We will uh, also hear from uh, King County Executive Del Constantine. And we'll also have a video message uh, from Congresswoman uh, Pramila Jayapal that will occur after our uh, speech is here. So I'd like to recognize uh, several guests who are here today. And first, I'll uh, start off with uh, uh, Kitty Milby. <laughs> Kitty was uh, on the Burien's first uh, council uh, here in the city. And uh, she also was uh, significant assistance in providing our 10-year uh, displays that we have in the back of the room here from a historical, so thank you very much. Uh, Sally Nelson, is Sally here? I know Sally's planning to come, but Sally was uh, a council member on our first uh, city council. Uh, Wing Wu, I'm not seeing Wing here. He's coming. He's coming, okay. Uh, he was the former Burian mayor and will also uh, be here. Uh, Georgette Valley, uh, former council member. Welcome. <laughs> she also represented Burien for 23 years in the state legislature, so congratulations. We have several uh, representatives uh, from our count consulates uh, in this area. And uh, I'm going to do my best to uh, pronounce names appropriately, so bear with me. But from the Philippines Consulate, uh, Consul General Henry Benazuto and his wife, Miss Anne Marisa Sanchez ben Benazuto. Are they here yet? They'll be here shortly. Uh, Consul of El Salvador, Miss uh, Clary Monzon. Consul of Mexico, Mr. Roberto Dondish. <laughs> Consul General of Guatemala, Claudia Gatica. <laughs> Vice Consul of Guatemala, Elizabeth Enriquez. Administrative Assistant to the Consulate of Guatemala, Antonio Casinos. We also have representatives and staff from Representative Jayapala's office and Senator Cantwell's office that are here with us, so thank you again for being a part of our presentation. So I want to um, let you know that we have uh, quite a bit of history and memories that are present uh, throughout the room and we have a book uh, that you can write memories and after our presentation today we'll also have the opportunity for an open mic uh, for people to talk about their experiences here in Burien. So uh, really enjoy having all of you here. Thank you very much for coming and it is my pleasure now to introduce our Mayor of Burien, Mayor Jimmy Mott. Thank you for that warm welcome. First of all, I want to recognize the conference. Thank you for coming out. It's very important to me. Uh, I was born in Preston, Idaho, but uh, my heritage is Guatemalan. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here today. 
I'm Jimmy Modden. I just recently got elected here uh, January 22nd to represent the city. And I'm very honored to be celebrating the 25th, uh, 25th year celebration here in Burien. I've been in this community for 20 years. Uh, my daughter was born in, at the hospital here. Uh, my son graduated from Race Bank Aviation. And uh, you know, I just, uh, just in 1993, 27,700 people called Burien home. And uh, we know that today, twice that number uh, continued to be in this community. And they also contribute to the business community and the culture life of Burien. As you well know, we have some great restaurants here in Burien. And, uh, just delicious, just delicious. Um, we also know that uh, you know we have a unique community because you know we represent people from all walks of life. Um, and you know when I moved to Burien, I wanted a community that knew what good food was, culture, and uh, that's what Burien has to offer. And uh, you know a lot of our minority businesses struggle every day to keep their doors, doors open. And I, I love to be in a community that people care about those businesses, uh, the small mom and pop shops. Um, we also know that uh, our community, we express our love for our community in different ways. We either get politically involved or we know how to throw a party, right? And if you haven't uh, been to the downtown parties yet, I would encourage you to come. You'll have lots of fun. Um, we also uh, know that if it wouldn't have been for the visionaries that you know, served at the city council, served on committees, we wouldn't be in the area we have today. And I want to thank them for giving their commitment and being involved with our city. You know, the city is made up of UN, it takes a village to grow a community. And uh, I could just, you know, I, could, I think back um, when, you know, the first city council was established. They had to create and build a city where we had not only a planning commission, but also a parks and recreation board uh, that continues to protect our community today. And I want to also recognize, you know, uh, the hard effort of our volunteers in our community. You know, we have a lot of volunteers that care about our environment, that care about the garbage that gets collected uh, on the streets, and so we have volunteers that participate in picking up the garbage and making sure that we're taking care of our nature. Um, but, you know, tonight, you know, I, I, not only do we celebrate the first 25 years, but uh, tonight uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna start our first discussion with our council members about what the next 25 years looks like. And I wanna recognize my fellow council members here. They, do a hard job in making sure that everybody gets represented in our community. And uh, so it's exciting to start saying, well, we've planned the first 25 for the visionary, visionaries and the hard work, now what does the next 25 look like? So I'm pretty happy to, to be uh, participating in that. And uh, with all, with, uh, without further um, wait, I wanna introduce, and I'm gonna better say the name right, because I practiced it, <laughs> Mr. Uh, our former mayor, uh, Dr. Arun Javadi. Hey, hey. You did a great job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's quite humbling and it's quite an honor to be back after 25 years as the former first mayor of the city of Beauty. It's a memory of 25 years, which is hard to go back and talk about in five minutes. So what I'm going to do is just to give you a few examples of the highlights of what and how we became the city. It took us two years as an incorporation committee. First it was study incorporation committee and then support incorporation committee. Burian Area Study Incorporation Committee or BASIC and we kept the name BASIC to support incorporation. And it took us from 1990 to 1992 to work hard, let the people know about what the incorporation, why we should become a city. And you know, whenever there is a new city being born, there are always two sides, ones who support and ones who oppose. And we had very good conversation and lots of meetings, making sure people were aware of why we are going to become a city. And after four unsuccessful tries to incorporate, we had a vote on March 10th of 1992. And by two to one majority, the people of Union said, yes, we want to become a city. And you know why? There were three reasons, mostly. One was opposition to the third runway at the SeaTac airport. 
Of course, it's built now, but it was a major concern because of the noise, pollution, transportation, traffic. The second reason was the economic development of Durian because South Center became a major shopping center and people would go shop, shop there and very few people will shop in, in Durian. So we needed to make sure that economic development was part of the uh, new vision for the community. And the third one, people did not want to travel, go down to Seattle to apply for a building permit at the King County Courthouse. Nothing against King County, but it was just the distance. And it took weeks and months to get a permit. So they said, we should have a city hall, city council, right here in Durian. So we can walk to the city hall, apply for the permit, and get the permit in hours or days. And that's what's happened during the last 25 years. One incident that I want to cite, because I have limited time, we had a very contentious meeting after we became a city. Uh, at the city hall, which was just a block from here, it used to be the old Seafirst Bank building. And by the way, the Seafirst Bank building donated that building to us as the first city hall for the city of Burien for one dollar. So we are very thankful to the uh, Seafirst Bank building, which is now the Bank of America. At the contentious meeting, there were people like you. The whole city hall was full, about 200 plus people. And you know why? Because we were going to discuss zoning and land use planning for the new city. And you know, when people have their own homes and property, they become very selfish. They don't want anyone to change it or move it or have neighbors that they don't know about. So that meeting lasted, began at 7 in the evening, and about 9 o'clock, people started talking about their property. They don't like this zoning, they don't like this land use planning effort. And then about 9 o'clock, I was running the meeting as the mayor of the council meeting, and the light bulb went on. And I said, folks, if you don't mind, will you please be silent for a minute? I would like to say something. And I told them, look, why don't we turn M in me upside down to W in V? Half of our problems will be over. We cannot become enemies or distant people because now we are a city. All of our neighbors are our friends. So let's work out the solutions that's acceptable to everyone. And that thing remained all my 25 years. And even now when I walk in Burien where I live, people come and say, Mr. Mayor, that was the best thing we ever heard. I think that's what we need. We need a community and we need people to respect each other and, and do things together. So, by the way, uh, Kitty Milne is here. She was the mayor after I became the mayor. So we should recognize her as a former mayor also. Kitty and Sally Nelson too. And finally, I want to say that I have a photo, framed photo of our first interim city council, which is different from what you have here. And the reason I brought it is just as a historical memento, which I keep all the time in my office, uh, as well as the, fort, uh, the key to the city that I got as the first interim mayor and then a former first mayor of the city of Beauty. So let me conclude by saying, as we move on, you know, we have the past, the present, we all know about the present Burien City Council, the government, and how they are doing, and you are the judges, we are all judged as citizens. But I want to make a point about the future of Burien. I think we have the responsibility and obligation to leave this community for our future generations, for our children and grandchildren. And I see three major issues that the city of Burien and all the communities must work on and urgently now. 
My grandfather used to tell me, son, if you have to do something tomorrow, do it today. If you have to do something today, do it now. Do not procrastinate. If you believe in something, do it. And I believe that. So I think the three issues of direct concern to me and other people I'm hoping is the climate change. Second is infrastructure modernization of all our physical assets. And third is making sure that we have social justice in the community where people live, respect, with dignity and with friends all over so that we can grow as a community, which we have done these last 25 years. And I won't be here for the next 20, 50, 50th Golden Jubilee, but I am sure you people will do whatever you can, the current council and future councils, to keep this community a vibrant, established community. Thank you. Good afternoon. Happy birthday, Burian. I know almost everyone in this room, with the exception of some who weren't here at the start, cannot believe it's been a quarter century since the city was incorporated. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Yes. It does to me. Uh, good to see Representative Valley. Uh, in particular, uh, Georgia was a mentor as I was entering politics, and uh, I appreciate so many people in this room with whom I've worked on so many issues over the last three decades. Uh, I was, in fact, around for the birth of the city, but of course I grew up just up the road a piece in West Seattle and spent quite a bit of time here, first and foremost, uh, making my way with my father at the wheel every day down Ambom to attend preschool uh, in Burien. Things have changed a bit since those days, uh, but it remains, uh, and I think perhaps is even more so, a wonderful community. I've uh, had the honor of representing Burien in the State House and the State Senate on the County Council and now for nine years as the executive of the county. And, uh, you know, the city started out uh, home to fewer than 28,000 people and has now blossomed to more than 50,000, grown dramatically. And one of the ways in which it's growing, which I see and hear about personally and directly every day, is as a place that, relatively speaking, is more affordable and yet is also tremendously vibrant and exciting and rewarding to live in, a place that many of my friends are choosing to buy a home and to, to raise their families. That is an exciting kind of community to be. I know a lot of old timers won't like to hear this, but a couple of times I've said to these folks who've said they're moving here only half in jest, oh, you're moving to New Ballard, fantastic. <laughs> You know, throughout all the changes, Burien uh, has kept its community spirit. And one of the most exciting changes that we've seen in Burien uh, is its increasing diversity. I mean, it was diverse to begin with when it incorporated. But this is a place that is truly a crossroads, a place uh, where people of all cultures and races and ethnicities come together to form a fantastic community, and we heard from uh, our first mayor, uh, Arun Javari, who, uh, you know, there were not that many South Asian mayors in Washington State at that time, and there still are, uh, but you've been such a wonderful leader for this community and a tremendous contributor to work throughout our entire county and region. Thank you, sir, for your service. We appreciate it very much. So city leaders here have made major efforts to modernize the downtown, and it's exciting. 
and very fun, a fun place to be in, uh, and to encourage more activity and more jobs. And through that work, Burien has put itself in a very strong position to continue to grow and lead for the next 25 years. So thank you for inviting me to speak today and say happy birthday to a young, a young city with a great future. And I would be remiss if I did not burden you with a proclamation as well. Um, <laughs> though I will not read the entire thing because it actually recites the entire history of Burien. Uh, uh, where, is, where, is, where is Mayor Mata gone? And come on over here, you. Um, so I'll just read a couple of the whereas Burien uh, was officially incorporated on February 28, 1993, etc. with a population of 27,700 and a total area of about nine square miles. And whereas Burien is now a city of some 51,000 people encompassing more than 13 square miles and celebrates the 25th anniversary on February 26, 2018. Now therefore I, Dow Constantine, executive of King County, do hereby proclaim February 26, 2018 to be City of Burien 25th Anniversary Day in King County. And I encourage all 2.2 million residents of King County to join me in celebrating Burien. Dow Constantine, King County. <laughs> Good evening, audience, and good evening, council members. I, my name is Quentin Thompson, and I do a lot of volunteering for the Berrien City Council meetings because I do a lot of public comments, and I also help Jimmy Mata, and I help a lot of people in the city of Berrien. I've also had the opportunity to volunteer and work for the Burien Police Department, and I do a lot for the community. I also work for Metro Access as training drivers for wheelchair securements, but what really got me involved with the city of Burien, and I have to think Burien Cares and <clears throat> Deborah George, because we, opened a new shelter for the city of Burien uh, for the humans, um, animals, and she has made it a very good success. I went, me and uh, Jimmy Mata went to the function on February 17th, and um, it was a great fundraiser over at the Burien Elks Club. And um, I work very hard with Deborah George also to help with a lot of activities over at the shelter. And I do, before I do any public comments for the city of Burien, I always do my homework. And that takes, because of my disability, it's a challenge for me, but I, take pride in what I say for the city and it's very nice to have everyone here and former mayors here and um, I just want to also recognize the new city manager because we got him just this um, year and he's doing a great job. I had the opportunity to uh, meet Brian uh, in Federal Way um, w within my travels because I was doing some stuff for the Federal Way School District at the time. And uh, it's just nice to see formal people because it is a challenge for me to get out in the public. And I think I do pretty well for myself because I <laughs> I always get comments from people at the city of Burien for how I present the city and how I present the staff and how I present everyone in the community and I enjoy it. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon, everyone. I want to say thank you very much uh, to the city of Burien, to the mayor, to the consuls. Um, we are here, the Latin consuls, uh, to work together to help our community and also um, to provide a service for our community here. Thank you very much for inviting uh, us to today. And congratulations, Mayor. Thank you. So I'd like um, if there's for everyone in the audience who has served as an elected representative for the city of Burien at some time in their career, I'd, I'd ask you to stand. So let's give everyone a hand. And I'd also uh, like to represent, uh, recognize our Filipino consulate who's here today. One of the important uh, uh, pieces of, of, of the staff of, of the city of Burien who are here to serve uh, the citizens every day. Um, I'd like to have uh, all of our staff uh, raise their hand and uh, or stand and showcase who, who you are as well. And lastly, uh, Mayor Wing Wu uh, has just come in. Let's give him a hand. So, uh, with that, I'd like to thank everyone again for coming tonight um, and would encourage you to stay, uh, have some food and drink, and also uh, we have. Uh, memory book to make sure if you have memories to sign uh, our book that's out front. But again, thank you for coming and for recognizing uh, our 25th birthday today. Thank you. <laughs>